NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Nobody knows you better than a conference rival. A conference matchup to get those juices flowing. Time to spin that ACC wheel of destiny right now. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. Jones needs to return. Brought down at the 31. Virginia's a team and a program that year in, year out, has got 1,000-yard rushers. Sometimes they've got two, and they've got that huge offensive line, and, you know, you get too worried about them, and sometimes you can overlook the fact they can throw the ball. It's going to be tough today for this defense. I think they're going to have to take some chances and load this line of scrimmage. And, you know, as a play caller for this offense, when you have such a gifted running back, it opens up every aspect of the offense. I mean, the play-action pass with this running game, you get those linebackers and safeties coming up close to the line of scrimmage. It's a great time to really open up and, and show what you can do as a complete offense. It'll be a challenge. Bought it, but they're going to lose yards. He was tackled immediately. Virginia's got a guy that statistically is leading the conference right now, and he has got the attention of everybody in the country, including the coordinators. Third down and 12. Ball on the 29-yard line. He fires. They're going to be forced to punt it away here. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. Espinoza is waiting for the snap. He's at midfield. They'll bring him down at the 45-yard line. Nice yardage on the run back. So the offense will come out for their first possession. Good field position for their first possession of the ball game. Let's see if they can capitalize off of it. He's got an opening. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. And he's finally shoved out at the 16. So they pick up big yards on the option keeper. I thought he's going to break that one for a touchdown. You couldn't draw that up any better. And now he pitches it. And he makes it out to about the 14-yard line. Tailback incomplete. From the 14 yard line, third down. He steps up, fires it out. They'll bring him down just outside the goal line. When they broke the huddle, I'm sure everybody knew the ball was going to go to this receiver. And he still brought it in to give this team a big lift. Touchdown, NC State. He's 
splits the uprights with the extra point. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. A brief detour to Denton, and for Texas State, they've won two straight. The Bobcats win it, 28-7. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Anderson back deep to return. And he'll return this one from the seventh. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. NC State's looking right now like they've got all three phases working for him so far, Kirk. Yep, it's early, but they are in control of this game. The defense is, seems to have a very good feel for what they're doing out there. The offense moved the ball down the field. Special teams, everything right now is really in sync for this team. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. And he tackles him hard at the 43-yard line. Hey, sometimes the defense does everything right, and they still lose. That time they had tight coverage, which left no options other than for the quarterback to take off. It's first and 10. Ball on the 43-yard line. And he's taken down at the 42-yard line. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. receiver. He's tackled around the 47 yard line. Third down and they need to get it inside the 47. And down he goes at the 44. yard line second down completes it and he's hit hard immediately Big kick here to try to pin the offense deep in their own territory. Touchback. Well, this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. North Carolina State is up by a touchdown. Up the middle. Makes it to the 31. Call the game of 11 yards. First down. Let's go. Fly to the ball. Let's hustle up. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. The intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and 10. From their own 31 yard line, it's second down. After a decent pickup. That's a gain of four on the play. Third down. Check four, check four. Out to the tight end. Nice play, knocked loose. Green was the intended receiver on the play. And that'll bring up a 
punting situation. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. And he's taken down at the 41. NC State's defense is playing lights out right now and pitching a shutout. Yeah, I would not be shocked at all to see this defense be able to maintain this. I, I just the way they're playing, the attitude that they seem to be playing with, if they can maintain the energy and the awareness of this offense, there's a very good shot that they could shut this offense out. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Tackle around the 44-yard line. Call it a game of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. Second and seven. Ball on the 44. So at the end of one, the Wolfpack lead 7-0. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Here's a running play. He fights forward to about the 46. It's third and five. Ball on the 46-yard line. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. He's going to come up shy of the first down marker, guys. Had that not been a great defensive effort, he would have easily gotten there. Edwards is back awaiting the punt. Oh, he got nailed on that one. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. North Carolina State is up seven. Up the middle for a nice game. That's good for a game. That'll make it second to seven. Quick throw, almost intercepted. That was a nice play. Anything you can do without being penalized to prevent the offense from moving forward is always a plus. From their own 32-yard line, it's third down. Setting up play action. Fires incomplete, knocked away. is the putter. And down he goes at the 47-yard line. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. And off to the left. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. That'll make it second and inches. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Give to the back and hit hard for a loss. That's a loss of three yards on the play. That makes it third and three. to go. Ball on the 42. Tackle made at the 40. Gain of two on the play. That'll make 
make it second and seven. seven. scrambling he's at the 30 dives for extra yardage from the 26 yard line first down and he scores touchdown guarantee you'll be seeing that one in the highlight reels. What a great, great run. A real display of all the tools that he brings to the table. The extra point to tie this game up. And he converts the extra point. A six play, 53 yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. And Brad, right now the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big run. We're even at seven in this one. Green is lined up to kick this one off. Fielded at the four. Tries to get around the corner. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Makes it to the 22-yard line. Myron picks up a yard on the play. NC State's going to take their first time out of the half. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 22. The draw play to the running back gives him eight or nine yards. That'll make it third and one. Taken down at about the 29-yard line. Good, solid defense there to force him into a fourth down situation. Anderson is back deep to return. <laughs> Tackle made at the 35. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Now he tries to buy some time, and they got him. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. So it's second down and 13 yards to go following that quarterback sack. Fires to his receiver, first down. Brought down at the 43. I'd go right back to him. He's got the skills to make things happen, and the defense might not be able to keep up at this moment. the 30-yard line. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. He's going to try and scramble. He's at the 20. And they make the stop around the 20-yard line. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. Five wide. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. Jefferson is the intended receiver on the play. That makes it fourth and inches. He gets it up, and he missed it left. No good. 
Every time you have a chance to finish a drive with points, you've got to capitalize. That time, they couldn't come through. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Feeds it to the back. He's out to the 30. He's to the 40. He finally goes down at the 44. That was a good-looking play, and it sort of caught the defense off guard. North Carolina State will take their second time out of the half. So it's first and 10 after the big run. Let's see if the quarterback heaves it up there and one of his guys can come down with it. Going long. Almost intercepted. We've played a half. We get a tie game at 7-7. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Both of these defenses are opportunistic. They're very good at forcing turnovers. But both quarterbacks, David, have done a very good job on trying to maintain an aggressive mindset. They haven't forced the ball. The runners have done a good job keeping it put away. Yeah, and as much as you preach that all throughout the week, it's still hard to do. It's hard to execute. And being able to see what you see on the defensive side of the football and adjust to it offensively, how about protecting the quarterback so he's not getting hit from the blind side, fumbling the football, ball carriers running with the football, keeping it tight to their body, not giving it away. So, you know, between running backs, receivers, and quarterbacks, offensive linemen blocking, did a great job executing on the offensive side of the football, not to create, not to give away any turnovers. That's going to do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Red and Kirk ready to take you home in the second half. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 23. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. So the draw to the halfback picks up four. That brings him second and five. They'll get him for a loss. From their own 24-yard line, it's third down. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Montgomery was the intended target on the play. So they couldn't pick up the long yardage, and now they'll have to punt. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass, and they defended the play very well in the second half. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. And he's tackled at the 49. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clinch up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. And off, and he's met immediately. Less than two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on the 49. Makes the catch, and he's got nowhere to go. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. Five-yard line. 
from the 35 yard line. It's first down. They'll bring him down at the 24 yard line. Goes out of bounds at about the 25 yard line. That'll bring up second and 11. From the 25 yard line, second down. Fires that quickly, incomplete. Sets up a screen, tailback's got it, and down he goes, right around the 24-yard line. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. Throws complete, but it's not going to be enough, and they'll fail on fourth down. getting a little bit tighter now. You got to make every possession count. In the shotgun and five wideouts. And he's taken down at the 32-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Straight run here, and he's got nowhere to go. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. Gain of seven yards. That'll bring up third and four. Got an opening. He's tackled at the 46-yard line. That's a game and eight on the play. First down. Excellent open field tackle. Number 22 on the tackle at the 44-yard line. First down. He fights forward to about the 43. From the 43-yard line, it's second down. They come out in a five-wide set. Scrambling around. Slides down. Call it a gain of four yards. That'll make it good. No hard on the hold. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Got a man in and out of his hands. Unable to convert on fourth down, and the ball changes hands. Now's when you start to approach each drive thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. 
He's scrambling. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Very good tackle in space. First and 10. Ball on the 49. Gets out to around the 35. Seven in this one. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Throws complete, and he stopped immediately. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Goes quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. I like the scheme the defensive coordinator came up with here. They were all over the place on that play and left the quarterback nowhere to throw it. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And he's tackled in the open field. From the 12-yard line, first down. Let's see if the third time's a charm down here in the red zone. What a play, and that is first and goal. And this play is number eight on the drive. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only do they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on him. Man left, man left. It's second and goal. Five yards to the goal line. made around the six-yard line. That's a loss of one yard on the play. That makes it third and goal. And this is the tenth play of the drive. He's on the run. Decides to take it himself, and he's got it. Touchdown. Great decision by the quarterback reading the defense, and as soon as he saw the open field, he cut it upfield and scored the touchdown. And he adds the extra point. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. Keeping an eye on what's going on in Huntington. This game was so tight, every play seemed to be of the utmost importance. Marshall gets the W, 28-24. Touchdown difference in this one, Reese, 14-7. Green, ready to kick. Caught at the eight. And down he goes at the 23-yard line. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, 
You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. Less than three minutes in the game. The pitch, and he's got some room. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. Inside the 30. What a play, and that'll set up a first and goal. Gain of 69 yards. On the ball, on the ball. That makes it first and goal. Taken down at the three. That brings in second and goal. Brought down at about the three yard line. That makes it third and goal. So here we go. It's third and goal from the two yard line. Time. The offense falls on it. Here we go from the seven. It's fourth down. It's always a gamble going for it with so many yards to come up with. But when you're behind, sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game. The offense just wasn't able to make a play. The defense was really clutch right there. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Virginia is up seven. He's tackled at about the nine-yard line. The halfback picks up a yard. NC State's going to use their first time out of the half here. We've got a second and nine here. Ball on the nine-yard line. And they make the stop around the 19-yard line. Good solid running right there. Getting past the defensive lineman and into the secondary before he could be stopped. Makes it out to about the 29. Did you see how much space there was for that tailback up front? He better be thanking his offensive lineman for that. From their own 29-yard line. First down. Gets out to about the 31. Makes it to the 32 yard line. That makes it 37. scoring final 14-7 Virginia so that wraps things up for us for EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks and we'll see you next time